Now I really want to share with you something that is, shall we say, the crowning glory of the physical work that I have developed and have given to humanity. And this is concerning what we call cranial electronics. Now, after the person is nutritionally prepared, and after they've gone through the point holding and have their hormonal system is working well, their back is completely straight, their neck is straight and free from pain and distress, the tailbone, which in most people is tucked under like this, comes back to a full normal position, and we have the antenna straight for the body. Then, at that point of time, we are then able to go to cranial work, what we call cranial electronics. And we go and release all of the genetic inherited, locked-in pain that we have inherited from our ancestors. And the head structure, as proven by the work of Dr. Robert Whiteside, where he has supervised a number of cranials and has seen shall I use the word, dynamic structural changes in the cranial structure, which is directly related um, statistically to psychological conditions or, uh, shall we say, um, traits that can be statistically proven where there's 93 traits tied in to the structures of the skull. Now. When the structures of the skull change shape through the application of cranial electronics, then the different psychological and physical traits change also, which are statistically documented. And the, the facial structures change. The bone structures actually go through a dramatic change. The alveolar arch and all of the teeth go through changes of how they are positioned in the mouth. And the body goes through, shall we say, a change from an asymmetrical condition to a symmetrical condition. Now, some of the theories involved in this are taught in cranial electronics, but I'd like to touch on that now. The sun is known through National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The sun is known to generate an 8 hertz frequency roughly 7.83. Now, that so-called 8 hertz frequency, they have found that the Earth resonates to that 8 hertz frequency that the Sun is generating. Now, that'll vary somewhat depending upon how far away the Earth is from the Sun as it traverses, or shall we say, uh, goes around the Sun. Now, our bodies are literally made from the dust of the Earth, so that when all extraneous energies are removed due to the suppression of our mind and the distortion of the energies of our physical body, then our physical body will resonate at 8 hertz. And also because we have an intelligence occupying this physical body, it will generate 8 hertz. So, when we have less than love conditions in our mind, which create distortions in this 8 hertz energy field that we're trying to maintain. We will have problems that will cause calcifications uh, of the bone structures of the skull, which some people call a lesion. And when the skull structure of the skull, the bone structures, the um, articulations between the bones that are quite refined, when those articulations are frozen up and cannot move, where normally they're moving like this every time we breathe about 14 to 16 times a minute, one sutural lock or calcification or lesion will tend to lock all of the sutures, making it impossible for that cranium to pump the cerebral spinal fluid through the body which is necessary to maintain the electrolytes in every tissue of the body and give continued health and vitality to the body. Now, under normal circumstances, by the time a person is age 68, their skull begins to, crystal, begins to crystallize up, and by the time that they're 70, there's very little cerebral spinal fluid being pumped down through the body, and the person then slowly dies. But when we can restore the full normal function of the cerebral spinal fluid, then the person then is revitalized with nutrients, with 
shall I use the word metabolites or electrolytes, which is pumped out through the body. Now the cerebral spinal fluid moves from the ventricles of the skull, uh, through the, of the brain, down through the uh, foramen magnum, which is a big hole in the back of the skull, back of the occiput, down through the spinal cord, all the way down to the tailbone, and then out through the ventral roots, through the peri neural pathways, the perivascular pathways, and all out through what we call the collagen, which is the connective tissue of the body, where it's full of what we call tiny, hollow collagen fibrils, and that cerebral spinal fluid then moves out to every single cell of the body through that collagen. Now, that, if that's blocked off anywhere by scar tissue, or by a lack of nerve supply, or by trauma, or by calcifications, or so on, then that blocks the flow of cerebral spinal fluid, and the body part begins to slow down and die, over a period of time, of course. But the human body, the same way, if we have a problem in, in a misalignment, or an asymmetry of the skull. This will cause us to have all kinds of mood swings in different manner, shape, or forms. It will cause us to have problems that we can't handle. So, the crowning glory of our work is getting the cranium into a perfect symmetry so, it's, so the people are able to return to a full intelligence and operating with that intelligence in our society in a, in a very productive and meaningful manner. And we're no longer subject to the, uh, um, the blockages which have hindered our ability to move freely throughout our society in this short lifespan that we have here on planet Earth. The definition of intelligence by David Wexler, one of the pioneers of intelligence testing, he says that intelligence is the aggregate or global capacity of the individual to think rationally, deal effectively, and act purposefully within one's environment. Now you take and apply an IQ test to a person uh, who is blocked off considerably and they'll have a lower IQ. But when those blocks are removed through the appropriate cranial work, the IQ will soar to the level of genius. We've seen this happen. In my own experience, I'm trained in intelligence testing, and years ago I'd, I'd give a Form A examination administered to a person for their IQ before and then after a lot of body electronics and cranial work. There was absolutely marvelous changes in people and the IQ soars to where they are in harmony with the universe, they're able to receive the pulsations of the universe at the 8 hertz frequency, 7.83 roughly, and then they're able to transmit that just by the power of will, by having will and desire, and using the thought, feeling, and spoken word for constructive activity, they're able to bring forth miracles upon the planet in the form of constructive change.